Hey there, Comets. I'm back to read another story to you. Today's book is called Read to Tiger by S.J. Four. I sit down on the couch and open my book. It's time to read. But I can't read because there's a tiger behind my couch. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chewing gum. Uh-uh, tiger, I shake my head. Please spit out your gum. I want to read my book, and I can't think when you chomp. Oops, the tiger says. Tiger is sorry. Tiger won't chomp. The chomping stops. I, treat, I try to read my book. But I can't read my book because I hear, grr, grr, grr. I can't read my book because there's a tiger behind my couch pretending to be a bear. Uh-uh, tiger. Please take off my bear costume right now. You're going to rip it. And will you please stop growling? I tell the tiger. I can't concentrate. Can't you see that I'm trying to read? Oops, the tiger says. Tiger is sorry. Tiger won't be a bear anymore. The tiger takes off my bear costume and stops growling. I pick up my book again and try to read. But it's very hard to read when there's a karate tiger behind your couch. Hiya! 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 Tiger! Stop! Now isn't a good time to work on your karate kicks. I want to read my book. Oops. Tiger is very sorry. Tiger won't do karate kicks. No more karate tiger. The tiger stops hi yaying. I try to read. But coming around my couch. Choo-choo, choo-choo, toot-toot. There's a tiger riding my toy train and blowing a whistle. Uh-uh, tiger. Get off that train right now. Stop choo-chewing and stop toot-tooting. I want to read. Can't you be quiet? Oops. Tiger's very sorry. Tiger can be quiet, the tiger says. The tiger stops choo-chewing and toot tooting, I try to read my book again. Suddenly, creak, crack, creak, crack, creak, crack, ah! My couch is flying up in the air because there's a tiger under it. Tiger, put me down! What in the world are you doing under the couch? Tiger is looking for the whistle. Tiger lost it, the tiger sniffles. I help the tiger find the whistle. Then I say, tiger, please sit down right here and be very, very quiet so I can read my book, okay? Okay, tiger will sit down. Tiger will be very, very, very quiet, the tiger whispers. The tiger plops down on the floor in front of me, and he is very, very quiet. He doesn't make another sound. No chomp, chomp, chomping. No gur, gur, gurring. No hi ya, hi yaing. No choo, 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 tooting. Not even creak, crack, creak, cracking. I hold my book up in front of my face so I can't see the tiger. I try to concentrate. All of a sudden, I think I see a little shadow on my book. I do see a shadow. Then I think I see a whisker. I do see a whisker. Then I see a nose when I see a whole tiger in front of my book. 
Tiger, what are you doing? You are in the way. I can't see my book. I am trying to read. What's that? Tiger asks. The tiger points to a picture in my book. That's the, that's the tiger in the story, I tell him. A tiger? The tiger shouts. Then he jumps onto the couch. He fluffs the couch cushions and curls up beside me. And finally, I can read my book to Tiger. Well, I hope you enjoyed Read to Tiger. Remember, boys and girls, keep reading. We miss you, and I'll see you soon.